The family of an Ocean Beach woman killed during the chaos at the Capitol is opening up about their loved one. The uncle of Ashley Babbitt says he wants his niece to be remembered as a patriot. News 8's Evan Arani is live with that part of the story. Good morning to you, Evan. Good morning to you as well, Stella and Eric. That's right, we were able to speak with the uncle of Ashley Babbitt, who says that she was doing anything she could to try to get President Trump re-elected. And in her last moments of life, the picture that is taken is much different than the picture that was painted by her uncle. We do want to caution you, the video that you're about to see is pretty graphic, but I also wanted to include some of that sound from her uncle, who says that this was what she wanted to do. Someone who served her country and loved it and our democracy and ultimately gave her life for it. And in her last moments of life, Babbitt was seen trying to force her way through a window that would give her closer access to the House chambers in the United States Capitol. This was after joining a violent mob trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Babbitt was a veteran of the United States Air Force, where she served multiple tours in Afghanistan. She had a strong social media presence, and uh, on that, she had posted several pictures showing uh, what group she was a part of, including the QAnon a conspiracy theory group. In the wake of the riots, some on social media call her a hero and a martyr. Others call her a domestic terrorist. Her uncle says she's been a part of several pro-Trump rallies before. He says she was determined to see I President Trump reelected. Babbitt was an Ocean Beach resident who was the CEO of a pool services and supply company. Her family, including her four brothers and both of her parents, still live here in San Diego. Now, the officer who fired those shots on Wednesday was placed on administrative leave. That is routine procedure for anyone who's involved in a deadly shooting like that. Uh, we, of course, will bring you the latest on that investigation as we get more details into the officer uh, who shot her. However, uh, as far as we know, that was the only incident of an officer shooting one of the protesters on Wednesday. There were several other deaths involved, but those deaths are believed to have been medical injuries. And then the additional medical injury that uh, you, uh, Eric, and Stella had mentioned just a few minutes ago, which was one of the officers who was involved was killed and uh, later died in the hospital uh, after this uh, this riot. So still more details emerging day by day, still only about two days out from it. We, of course, will bring you the latest here and on CBS8.com. I'm Evan Narani, News 8.